This is what I've done for Pascal's Dynamic Weight Challenge. We have put on a flywheel from the low C dirt bike onto the back. So it, it's set up with a servo and another mount to move back and forth. So as the sled's moving, you can tilt it and make it go a certain way and angle, and it works surprisingly well. For a very long time, I've wanted to put a flywheel on a sled, but there's never been a good one out there that would work like this. So once Losi came out with theirs in the RC dirt bike, I instantly knew I had to snag one of those and put it on. This definitely isn't its final state. It needs to be definitely shrunk and not all sticking out of the sled. So either if we can find a way to stick it all inside, which would be kind of hard because it is big. And it also needs to shave a lot of weight. But we might be able to make our own small one and stick it in the inside and have it all close back up and still move the sled around a little bit. Alright, so this is the setup. We have it set up on a spectrum controller here. So it's set up so when you steer, it leans. And you can go through different modes of what it does. So if it leans the same way, counter leans, all sorts of stuff. And then I have set up just an extra channel here for a flywheel on. It takes a little bit to spool up. We just have a little 2S pack on top. Now that it's fully spooled up, you can see how much it moves the sled. It moves it so much. And then to turn it off, you just click the button again. And it spools down. Another great thing about having the flywheel instead of a weight moving is that when you're trying to do a wheelie for a long ways and it's sitting high off the snow, it doesn't wobble as much and you know, it'll hold it straight. And it's it it keeps it going straighter through bumps and everything else in the snow with the flywheel without even it without it turning. It helps out a lot. Another thing about the flywheel is that when it moves, it just moves the sled. It's not moving a weight back and forth that's counteracting itself. So since it's right in the center line of the sled, when it moves, it doesn't make the sled heavy back and forth in each side. It just completely torques the sled. Because when the flywheel, when it's actually spinning and moving, the flywheel won't move. When you do that, when you steer, it just torques the sled and keeps the flywheel straight up and down. There you go, this is the sled up on a scale with the flywheel in it. It weighs eight pounds. That is a lot for this thing for in the snow.
you guys are all thinking the same thing I am, this is, this is the best way to go. It just, it moves the sled so much around, like, you can scale up a hill if you want, you can do full 180s, just like, right as a pivot turn, it's, it moves so much weight. But yeah, thanks for watching, and subscribe to see some more of what we got going on here.